Hey guys, it's finally time to start getting some insulation installed in the shipping container. I spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out how I was going to make this work and what I was going to do. I talked with David Paws a little bit and he highly recommended I go with cellulose. However, there was one particular problem. As you can see, I am very tall and even with no insulation in here, my head is already hitting the ceiling of the shipping container. So between the floor and the ceiling, that is 8 inches of height I would have lost. So 8 inches I would have been scrunching down like this trying to work and that's just not comfortable. And So in the end I ended up going with this 2 inch uh, foam board. You can pick this up at Home Depot. It comes in 4 foot by 8 foot sheets. And in talking with David he mentioned that the most important thing with this insulation is to make sure that it is continuous with no gaps or space in between where the insulation joins up. So today we're going to start by installing the insulation on the ceiling first. The reason why I want to do the ceiling first before I do the walls is that uh, this support beam that comes across the side here is exactly two inches thick. So when I put this foam board insulation up against the ceiling, um, it is perfectly level with this support beam. So once I have the ceiling piece up and the glue is dry, I can then come and put the wall pieces up. Now the wall pieces stick off of the support board about a quarter to a half an inch. Um, so if I were to put the walls up first, I think it would be a little more difficult trying to get the ceiling pieces put in later. So I'm going to try my best to cut this to fit. I'll need two pieces to go across the top of the ceiling, and it will take a day or two to full cure before I can come back and work on the walls. But before I get started on that, I do have a little housekeeping to take care of first. Now this sand has hitched a ride all the way from North Carolina to get here, and it's going out. All right, so I measured the ceiling at 53 and 1 8 inch, which is right there. And 53 and 1 8 is right there. And in an attempt to get a clean cut here, I'm going to be using a fine tooth Dewalt blade on a reciprocating saw. Uh, we'll see how that works. So that actually gave a pretty clean cut. Uh, it looks like I just need to hold the blade a little more straight next time. Um, but I'm fairly satisfied with it overall. So for the glue, I'm going to be using this Loctite brand. Uh, PL300 construction adhesive specifically made for foam board. Um, this is what was recommended for me to use on foam board because certain other types of adhesives can actually end up melting the foam rather than uh, gluing it like you want. Alright, now that we got our beads of glue where every rib is going to go on the insulation board, we're ready to lift it into place um, and hopefully do this carefully that way we are not making a mess. Alright, so I've got two supports in place to hold it up. It is up as tightly and close to the ceiling as I can get it on the ribbed pieces. Um, and it does appear to be holding well without the supports. The supports are just in there to ensure it stays up tightly against the roof while the glue dries. Um, I just have one more piece to do for the other side of the container and we should be good to go with the ceiling. Alright, so I got both pieces in. Uh, I think it came out pretty good. I'll probably use some expanding foam to fill the crack between the two boards, uh, but we'll do that once the glue dries. And you can see it's perfectly flush with that bottom support, which is great. So I can get the walls put in soon as well. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that answers the question of how I'm going to deal with the insulation. I'm not going to bother filming the walls because it is difficult to film this reflective insulation and uh, I'm even questioning whether or not I should be uploading this video, but I'll probably upload it anyway just to show you what is going on. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.